Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Preserve. Now, in this game, you start off with an item like this, made up, of course, of hexagons, which are the best guns. I don't need to repeat that. Uh, but our job is to turn this into a thriving ecosystem, full of biodiversity. Now, basically, we get given cards that have various effects on the land. So, obviously, if we add some rain, that's going to turn a tile that I place it on once the rain falls into a grassy tile. That gave us one of these points down here. And every time we, we meet the limit down the bottom, we unlock extra land that we can add to our island. So we've also got a river card. Uh, now rivers have to go on these like mountainous hexagons. So if I shove that up there, I can then choose where I want it to float. So I think for now we'll go that way, then that way, then down here. And that's as far as it can float because we've, we've got like downhill. Water flows downhill. <coughs> so we can then confirm that placement and that turned all the surrounding areas green which meant we got our eight point limit because we're up to 19 points and we have a new island we can add so this one is pretty rocky actually so you probably want to shove the rocks together uh, you can rotate these tiles as well so i think i'll do i'll probably do something like that to start with how original tell me more all right, we also gained some more cards. So you can see down here this rainfall one. We have nine of those. Um, worth noting as we zoom in that these just do like one, one tile of rain. So I can do those three like that. This one here, because there's loads of raindrops on, this does like a large area. I and mean, actually, I don't really have an area that takes advantage of that. So I might save that for a little bit. Um, we've also got this pond card. So if I shove a pond let's say up there that does all the surrounding tiles so we've made all of those green and because we got to over 28 points we now have another another load of land so i think i'll shove this yeah probably there that seems good to me and then look we've unlocked loads of different like biome cards so this is where the game starts to get pretty interesting because let's say we grab these trees and we put three trees in together like that look what happens they merge into like a foresty thing and that's important for what's coming up next but for now let's go over here and shove some like a big raindrop let's shove it there boosh that covered all of that area we can then use the little ones to sort of fill in the gaps so that's all of our little rains used up we've now got a load of green it's not easy being green so i think what i want to do let's grab this hay stuff and uh, let's start Plop in these down so you can see it's just it's just like sort of grassy stuff but when you add a third one boosh it turns into hay and can you see that symbol up there this is important because it shows us now we have a slot where we can put animals so basically in the middle that's how many tiles it's made up of if we want to add more animals into this you've got to add six tiles to get two and then 12 tiles to get three um so for now since we've just got the three in size we can add the bees you can see bees can either go on the flower ones or the hay ones so we add bees in and animals are worth 10 points do you see the 10 points down there you also get various bonuses so if you have three of the same animal in there you get a 30 point bonus if you have three different animals in like the same sort of area uh, you get a 60 point bonus uh, so what you want to do is try and group everything together i think for now though let's unlock our next bit of land and i mean i could i could continue making the strongest sheep island but i do actually i want to go for points this time but still let's do that and uh, we've got we've got this rocky biome thing. Uh, worth noting all of these biome things. Can you see like the little symbol like there? Basically, that's like high mountains, sort of highlands and then lowlands. So it's saying the rocks can go on high mountains or the highlands. So for example, if we grab this, that's a mountain, so it can go on there. This is highland, so it can go in there. This is lowland down here, so it's red. We can't put that there. Anyway, let's get a rocky biome on the go. So again, you just want three touching and then you unlock the slot. If I keep adding more to this, you'll see this is going up when it gets to six. We've now got two slots. Unfortunately, we don't actually have any animals with like a rocky biome. So uh, we can't do too much with that. Um, I can, I may as well just use all of these to unlock the next one. So if I do that, that's all three slots unlocked. Uh, we're up to 99 points as well. Now, at 140, we'll get more island we can add to the place. Uh, for now, though, let's perhaps add to this area. So now we've got another slot for them. Shall I try and get three loads of bees in there? I think I'm going to. So more bees. I can add one more of those, and then I'm sort of out. May as well add the two rock ones up there. 121 points. We're close to 140. Um, I'll tell you what. 
10 points straight away. Let's add a boar into the trees. Boosh. So can you see him in there? There he is. He's walking around. Man, that's a giant boar. Fair play. But yeah, right. We can keep adding to the trees. So I think I'll do that. So now we got another slot. Shall I just add another boar? I think I will. Because that gave us 10 points, which means loads more cards. Oh, and this one is a rock one. It's a mountain goat. So let's add a goat into there. Oh, <laughs> I added it to like the tile with the tallest rocks. You can't even see it. I think it's... There it is. There it is. It's literally going inside the rocks. Bet you didn't know it could do that. Or maybe you did if you play Goat Simulator. All right, anyway, over this way, let's shove a pond in the middle and let's try and get some of these green. So I'm thinking actually if I shove... I shove one there and that gets all of those done. If I do that there, that only overlaps one. And then I got little raindrops to do down the side. Nice. And I tell you what, down this way, I'm going to add this one. So this is like the reeds biome. So you can see we get like a little a little pond with a big old log in it. A couple of reeds. When we add a third. Oh, nice. We got like a little swampy thing going on with some toadstools. What are you doing in my swamp? Anyway, we'll make that bigger. And then I might add a boar. Yeah, let's shove a boar in the swamp. How would you like that, mate? All right, then back to the forest. We have two boars in there already, don't we? So if we just add... Oh, we've got to add six more trees. I don't have six trees on me. I can fill up all of those. So we're, we're getting there with them. And then find somewhere to do my my flowers. I think I'll do my flowers over this way. So we've got three there. Let's add some bees to that. We'll make the flowers a little bit bigger. So we've got two slots unlocked on that. And then we'll keep doing the hay. And then, oh, look, we've unlocked two new areas. So what I'm thinking, probably want to extend the hay and the, the plants. We've got quite a lot of area for those. So I might just leave it like that for now. I feel like this edge, we've got to add, we've got to add rocks. So we're going to need that one there. Because can you see that's got the top colored in? So that's going to have like the, the highest, the highest elevation land in. Uh, but maybe, actually, if I shove it down here... Oh, it's got a bit of mountain on it, actually. So, yeah, I think that works, actually. So, if I add a few more mountains... Yeah, it's up to it's up to 16 already. So, we got slots for more goats. It's just a question of, do I add more goats or do I try and find other animals that cross over? Because I feel like in the flowers, we can have bees and goats. There's got to be something else somewhere, though. Uh, for now, let's just make this area bigger. Oh, no, I can't put them high up, can I? Oh, that was poor positioning. I didn't realize the the reeds can only go in the low areas. I'm going to need some low ground somewhere. Maybe here. I think for now, I'll just extend trees around. So if I add that tree and that tree, we've got the slots. So I can add another boar. And then three of a kind plus 30 points. We're up to 294 now. Pretty good. Uh, let's get some big rain going on so let's do that one and over here we can do there and then up there then fill in the rest with little rains a load of new cards okay so we have a wolf that can go in the mountains i just wonder is there is there a third animal or will i be risking it if i shove a wolf in there wolf can also go in the woods but i've already done the three of the kinds in that woods so i'd need to start like a new wood uh, so perhaps I'll do that over over here. So we'll big rain on there. Little rain the gaps. And then we'll get three trees in. Boosh, make a forest. And then potentially add those. I'm trying to I'm trying to hold on to one of my cards for now. Probably silly, but there we go. We've got this lowland card now. So that can make us a big swamp. If I if I rotate it there, yeah, we can combine those pretty nicely. We can even extend it further. So yeah, let's do that and shove a pond. I don't want to shove a pond or should I just make it rain? I think let's just make it rain. Make it rain there, make it rain there. Then we'll do those ones. Nice. And then we can get the reeds in. We just start doing that. Then we got two slots. Can I do a little bit more? There we go. So we could add a boar in there. I think I will since I've got four boars. Uh, should probably continue adding to this with the hay so then i can add the final bees and we got another three of a kind we're only 28 points away from the next lot of land we can get um i think with these rocks i got so many rocks i'm just going to keep adding to this one in the middle because uh, remember i can add to like the highlands so i can add to those which is good. I could also add to those three as well. So probably just do that just to use them up. All right. So let's extend our little flowery area. So we can do that, that, and that, and that. And then we've got three slots unlocked. Add that. And then, oh, we've got a new animal. What is that? Is that like a shrew? 
I don't know. We do have six of them, though. So where are my reeds? So over in my reeds, I could add one into there. Boosh. I should probably add another reed just to make that a bit bigger. If we zoom in, can... Oh, is it an armadillo? Is that an armadillo or is it like a badger or... I don't know. It's red in the photo, but it's like... Oh, oh what am I doing? Oh, I'm cleaning it. <laughs> can I clean the boar? Will the boar love me? Oh, the boar loves me. Why is this a thing? All right, nice. Anyway, we've got we got more land. We've got highlands. So yeah, look at all this. Loads of mountains. Yeah, we can't connect them to anything we've got at the moment. I think if we do that, though, we could extend the trees all the way through them. So yeah, we'll do that. I think we'll then just do a very small one of those. We'll do another three over there. I'm seeing strong shapes everywhere, by the way. I'm doing my best not to say anything. Yeah, so what I might do i might do mountain goats in the middle so let's let's get some points now boost three of a kind then over here i'll put a mountain goat on that one i'll then put a wolf over on this one yeah, but then remember because these are like because they're the highlands i can join them together so if i like shove that in the middle they're now combined so so we got two different animals in there a wolf and a goat i'm sorry goat i've just realized what i've done and then we can go on to there do that and then one more which i guess is that one we've unlocked a third slot so we just need to find another animal that has a mountain thing and that's 60 points now worth noting up here we've also got some extra quests as well so we've got to reach 900 harmony so we should just get that this one though creates a river 18 tiles long now at the moment our river stops there we do have another river down here but we need to try and get a load of land where we'd be able to do that so remember rivers have to start high and they get blocked if they can't go either flat or down a hill and um, i don't think they can go through biomes so i guess next time we extend the land we'll have to see what it looks like the next two are low though so maybe after that we can do the river uh, for now since this one is maxed out you don't really want to go bigger than 12. Um, i'll probably just do like another Another little corn area somewhere else. Um, oh, we got some trees. Yeah, let's extend this lot of trees. So we can do that, that, and down there. We can then add either a boar or a wolf to that. I reckon let's do a wolf there and there. Then we'll add a boar as well. So we're, we're feeding our wolves quite well. Yeah, look, there's our wolf. There's a wolf. It hasn't seen the boar. The boar's sneaking around in the woods. Yeah, should I add another goat to the, to the flower area so we can get three in there? I think I will. And then I need to start a new flower area. So since the swamp has to go low, I reckon let's start doing flowers here. So we got three. We've now got the 600 points, which means a few extra animal cards. No new ones, annoyingly. Now, we do have the extra land, though. So can we use this to get our river really long? I reckon we might actually be able to. If I rotate like that, it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, it's a long way, 18. All right, I'll tell you what, let's just shove it there. And then we're going to have to wait till we get the next the next ground card, I think. And that's going to have to go in there. And it is a lowlands, so river should be possible. Uh, for now, we'll just have to extend all the other biomes in, like, a different location. So that's max size now. It doesn't need to be any bigger. You can then add flowers like that. Do a little bit of rain on there. Add more flowers. And then do I do the same? Do I do bees and then goats? Yeah, we're really we're really gambling that we're going to get another animal with that, with that three of a kind bonus. The tutorial told me there was a three of a kind bonus. So I do sort of expect to see one. Uh, by the way, look how nice, like, this little, this island is now. It's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, let's shove a pond there. All right, okay, that's good. Over this way, I need to make this area bigger. I don't want to impact on my future river, though. So I don't think I'll add another one for now. Uh, how many points do I... Oh, I need quite a lot of points. We are struggling. That river thing is really annoying. Let's add another rock there. I know I'm not going to be able to go up with the with the river, so I can definitely do those two. I won't be doing anything down this side of it, so maybe I can... Yeah, let's get those in. Let's get something down here. I think we can do a swampy thing there and add one of these. Boosh, that's 10 points. Over this way, if I put a pond in the middle... Yeah, that's quite a lot of points. Seven points. Oh, I may just have to start adding animals. I wanted to wait for three of a kind. I mean, I can add those to hay. We just need to get more hay on the go. So yeah, let's get hay on the go down here. So three there, add one of those, then add more hay like that. Add another one. That's another 10 points. And then I can't add I can't add that one there because that will merge the two biomes, which means I'll lose I'll lose those animals. So they can't be merged. All right, up over this way. Let's get three little bits of land in. Three bits of hay. 
Another one of those. All right, 744. We're actually, we're in a bit of a tricky spot, actually. I'm trying to save room for the river, but I think it's going to, it's going to screw me, honestly. And next question, can I use this recycle card to recycle a river? No, I can't. I can only recycle other things. Okay, got it. Got it. All right, and I think I may just have to complete some of these biomes without getting the extra animal. Oh, it's 60 points I'm throwing away, though. Nah, sort it. Let's do, let's do, I don't care about the river. Let's get a pond in get a pond there as well all right then we've got six straw to play with so that's good so we can just do six we can then add a b add one of those vol things whatever they are and then we're only three points away now so let's just do rock 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 there we go. oh no we got loads of new animals we've got an eagle and some sort of duck goose thing and a deer yeah and most importantly we've got our land could we have extended the river? Oh, we well could have done. I'm wondering if I recycle, could I still get it? This could work. This could actually work. And we can say go there, 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 there. And then we're just making the world's longest river. And then we're literally just going through the canyons. Oh, yes. Look at that. So then we say yes. Boosh. And then we got that challenge thing. That was 44 points as well. Not bad at all. Anyway, with our new animals, can we can we like complete any of our habitats? So an eagle, we can add it to these mountains. And that's going to be 60 points, right? Yes. Three unique animals. 60 points. Oh, look at the eagle flying around. I've now officially made America, right? Um, oh, what have we got there? It's a shaming wheel. Um, I actually don't know what that does. It's the same color as the recycling one. Oh, by the way, we're only three points away from completing this mission thing. The 900 Harmony. Oh, yes, we can add a duck to these flowers. Boosh, 60 points for being unique. And then another duck over to this one. Boosh, that's even more unique. Then we're over a thousand points. We've got another bit of land to put down. Now, let me see about the deer. Can that go anywhere to make it unique we have the slot so we can then shove a deer in there right and there is the deer wandering into the woods that's another 60 points though we're trying to get to 1250 so we've got the slots we've already got a volley thing in there so let's add a duck oh that's like that's a tiny duck or goose whatever it is I mean, we can then add a boar and then oh, wait where's my unique bonus game um excuse me i did not get my 60 points there i literally got ripped off then all right anyway over here in the plants i gotta add a fox thing is we're three short i do have recycle cards now let's see let's see how this water wheel works so let's shove that on there oh my goodness loads of points we're up to 1300 now not entirely sure what it did anyway what can we do up here let's bit of rain a bit of that and yeah there's definitely 12 tiles here so we can we can tree them up and then we can add three different tree animals yeah i got my 60 points that time okay that's good maybe i did get them before now annoyingly we don't get any more land from now on so it's all about just trying to be efficient hang on i think i've done this i put that up there then we can add a duck so that's points then i can put my flowers along that edge so that's the final one to get an extra slot. And then we can add a duck onto the flowers. Yes, that's another 60 points. We're up to 1,500 now. Oh, by the way, not sure that water wheel is facing the right orientation. <laughs> Did get me points though, so I'm not going to complain too much. So if we do that, we can then add like a deer and an eagle. So just one point away. I've got one recycle actually. What if I get rid of that and swap with a tree? Four points. Nice. 1582. I think that's every tile done now. So yeah, this is this is what our little what our little land looks like. Uh, it's pretty decent actually. Like it's very pretty game. You cannot you can't deny that. Um if you play this, this was the medium map on the was it the continental sort of biome? But yeah, full game will contain more. This is just the demo. That's my score. I saved natural diversity. Let me know if you can beat my score. Anyway, for now, guys, I'll say peace, love. And I can't believe I didn't mention the strongest shape once. Bye.